Hello kitties. We have for you now a very special guest. He's flown to the internet all the way from Washington DC and boy does he want to drink your blood. Ladies and gentlemen, Count Gordevall! Thank you, thank you. My, I didn't know the internet was so far away. Yeah, it's all the way on the other side of the nut house. Yeah, the last time I was on a plane this long was when Shatner introduced me to the Wing Gremlin. Boy, talk about a chatty monster. But that Gremlin is a brilliant conversationalist. He's all like... How's that again, Count? Oh, sorry, sorry. Sometimes my, uh, my Transylvanian accent kind of gets in the way of my gremlin. <laughs> Let me try that again. Uh, what, what he would say would be... Oh man, I, I'm, uh, I'm parched from my flight. Mind if I enjoy some AB positive? I be completely positive. Say, mind if I tell a joke while you're enjoying your tasty beverage? Okay, dig it. Two priests are driving along in a car, right? Suddenly, they hit a vampire. Oh no! Just, just, just bear with me here. Okay, so one priest says to the other, what do I do, what do I do? And the other priest says, oh, turn on your windshield wipers. Well, they have absolutely no effect. Ha ha ha! Take that, you filthy fathers. Yeah, and so the one says to the other, he says, it's not working, the windshield wipers aren't working, what, what do I do? The other priest says, well, show him your cross. So the priest leans out the window and says to the vampire, Get off the goddamn windshield! <laughs> oh, Dr. Calamari, you are funnier than Carrot Top in a pit of jackals. All right, so now that we're going here, you enjoy the galaxy invader? Oh, yes, yes. Whoop, whoop, whoop. My good friend Dick Dizel worked on it, and he said he had a fantastic time. He even learned how to toss a dummy like a professional dummy tosser would toss a dummy. Always with the dummy tossing that guy. Say, did you ever meet the Galaxy Invader? Oh, yes, yes. He used to come to my castle and uh, show me how to shamble. He's uh, considered a great shambler in the monster community. He's the Michael Jackson of stilted action. Well, blow me down. And have you, uh, refined your shambling technique as well? Oh, you bet your barnacles. I can shamble with the greatest of them now. They call me the James Brown of Shambly Town. You know who always impressed me with his shambling? Octoman! I love Octoman! He's one of the great unsung shamblers and a heck of a nice monster. I used to see him every year at the Vampire Sea Monster Mixer at Innsmouth. And he's a class act. He even introduced me to my ex-girlfriend Donna the Deep One. I bet you can guess why they call her that, can't you, Dr. Calamari? I bet you can, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Oh I know! Oh I know! Oh what look who you're talking to! Ah. Yeah! But that was the name of her species. But, uh, but Octoman, yeah, he can shamble circles around the creature from the Black Lagoon. He's the uh, Gregory Hines of Shambling Pines. Wow, can't get enough of that joke. Well, anyway, Count Gore, I want to thank you. You are truly a pioneer of internet horror hosting and a trailblazer for us all. I hope you have a wonderful flight back to DC. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Speaking of which, I gotta catch a plane. Oh God, is it leaving now? There it goes. Ah! Oh no you don't. Well how are you gonna get back home now? Well I'll just have to uh, have to change into a bat and fly back. <laughs> Good goodbye Dr. Calamari. Goodbye 100 years of monster movies. <laughs> Help, I, I can't control this crazy thing. <laughs> <laughs>